All right, we are back. Uh, previously, we got this thing into orbit, the Manos 2. Now the next challenge is going to be to break the Earth's orbit and get into a transfer orbit to the moon. Um, that's going to need more fuel, but I don't think it's going to need a whole lot more fuel. So I'm trying to decide the best way to go about this. I think maybe adding one fuel tank there. Because once we get out of the, the Earth's, well, the Kerbin's, atmosphere we need a lot less fuel to commit any sort of maneuver we need a lander also don't we because I want to bring the full weight of what we're gonna actually have when we do this mission for real with us so I'm gonna bring how's that all working that's good I'm gonna bring all that plus one of these and this engine I think that means we're gonna need another decoupler and we're gonna have to put you down there we need some landing gear probably three is enough actually well I chose this engine because it's lightweight and uh, it produces a lot less thrust but we're not gonna need much thrust to get off of the surface of the moon so that will probably work well enough. Now we have to worry about this section, don't we? What's going to be the best way to handle this? Probably the best way is just going to be to add more solid rocket boosters to it because those are pretty simple and cheap. Are these going to collide with each other at this point, though? I think that's going to... Yeah, that's not going to work. Well, here's what we're going to do. I got an idea. We're just going to add these solid rocket boosters on, just like... I don't want that many, though. Let's go with two. Just add them on like that. And then we'll add some struts, because I remember last time we had some wobblage as it was and there's going to be a lot more potential for wobbling now because it's kind of unbalanced load so let's put struts from here to here damn it my symmetry tool is screwing me over that will work and let's turn off symmetry because that's just going to cause chaos you bastard there is definitely something there but I do not seem to be able to select it so it can just stay I don't care whatever let's add this here see if I care game and these are not coming out even but it really doesn't matter and then we need to add I am going to turn symmetry back on for this just add a little bit of bracing here so that those tanks are all nice and solid. All right, it's ugly, but I think it might work. And these are like all my engines here, aren't they? Let's move all this crap down to this stage. So we'll have like crazy amounts of thrust. Just want to make sure my staging is right. Then those separate. This engine is here, which is completely backwards, isn't it? Or wait. No, it's not. That's right. And then this engine's here. This decoupler's here. Alright, so let's call this the Manos 3, actually. Give it a go. See what happens. Turn on the SAS. 
thrust all the way up. Let's go. said we want to get this up to probably a hundred thousand or so meters like last time a lot faster now. speed now. Cool. Get our little nav bubble thing up here. So we can cut the engines when we get there. Getting there and slow it down and off. Alright, so when we get up to our apoapsis, we'll flop this thing over. Actually, let's just start the process of moving it over now because I think it's probably going to take a bit to 90 degrees towards the east since we're not, we don't have the engines on so it doesn't matter what direction the rocket's facing because inertia is just going to keep carrying us up. I'm going to lock this off. I said lock it off. I guess it's just going to take a minute for it to stabilize. Let's turn on RCS for a minute, give it a little boost there. This thing's probably pretty freaking heavy still. Alright, I'm going to call it there close enough, and we'll just finish the maneuver like that. And I want to rotate around just so things are lined up and look better. There we go. And we are coming up rapidly on our burn point. I think this orbit's going to go a lot smoother than last time, actually. That's getting pretty close. How are we doing for fuel? Out of fuel, so let's separate. Turn some more. Fortunately, we're wasting fuel now because we got past the apoapsis, but I still think we're going to get into orbit, hopefully. 
with enough to try for the moon. Oh man, we're getting real low in the atmosphere now though, aren't we? No, actually we're not. It's not as bad as I thought. It's not good, I should have burned earlier. But... Come on, you bastard. I gotta be running low on fuel. Coming out of the planet pretty soon here, I hope. Man. Alright, cool. Getting very close now. And let's slow it down, check how we're doing. Oh man, we're getting a real eccentric, crazy orbit going though. That's all right. We'll just shut everything down until we get over to the other side. How we're doing for fuel? Pretty good. When we get over here, we'll uh, accelerate a little bit and hopefully bring this orbit out a little better. Not the best orbit, to be honest, but it'll do. So we're actually dragging through the atmosphere right now, aren't we? That's all right, though. I guess we can have a real big orbit. It doesn't really matter. Can we go faster? Nope. 